Hi, I'm Jason. This morning, our staff met together and we talked about what to do as a church family. There are obviously a lot of fluid changes. Information kind of keeps coming out every day with uh, different advice and things like that. And we're attempting to contact our church family. We want to know how you're doing. We want to remind one another that we are supposed to serve one another, be there for one another and be a, a family. And so we wanted to let you know of ways that we'd love to hear from you. We want to know how you're doing emotionally, spiritually, and also uh, physically, financially. We want to reach out and see how you're doing, see if you need anything. Uh, there are people who are part of our church family in Boone, and there are people who are part of our extended church family that are not in Boone right now whether it be because they're currently not in Boone or they no longer live in Boone. There are people from all around the country and even dozens of countries in the world that consider themselves to be part of the Heart Extended family. I actually just got an email from someone who lives in Bolivia. And we wanna be the kind of church family that takes care of one another. We wanna take care of each other as a, a part of this church here in the high country. And so we wanna know, does anyone need grocery shopping done for them? Does anyone have bills that need to be paid? There's a New Testament concept in the book of Acts, this example that we see where in the book of Acts chapter 2, uh, the church was together. I'm going to read this from Acts chapter 2, verses 42 through 47. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily. Well, the original context of that is actually they, they thought Jesus was coming back really, really soon. And so they thought that selling all of their land and property and getting more income to share with people um, was really no big deal because the return of Christ was soon. I think the context of what's going on now is more like maybe you actually have some, some stuff and your income is not dropping in the midst of kind of uncertainty of what's going on right now in our culture. And maybe the heart of this or the spirit of this example in Acts chapter 2 is in Acts chapter 4, it says there was not a needy person among them. It seems like a really healthy thing for a family of people, a body of believers, whatever imagery you want to use there, for us to take care of each other. And so it's a goal that we have as a church family to make sure that there's not anyone in need Many of you know this, but maybe some of you don't know that we have something that we call a relational care team. We have a team of people that dedicate themselves to visitation and sick care, benevolence, support, crisis and trauma care resources, care community database. We have a whole team that dedicates themselves to trying to be there for people in need. And so if you go to theheart.us, slash relational dash care. So that's the heart.us slash relational dash care. You can look at this information about our visitation and sick care, benevolent support, which means if you have a financial need or if you know someone that does crisis and trauma care resources and a database for care. Uh, so things like counseling services and things like that. And, and also there's a little section at the bottom that says contact us and so it's a little form for you to fill out and let us know if you have a need it, it could be that you just want somebody to talk to it could be that you have a, a physical need it could be that you want uh, someone to be there for you physically or give you a call you want somebody to pray with you we actually have a, a prayer team and so it's important at this time for us to realize that as a family we are to take care of each other and if it means that maybe some of us sacrifice maybe sacrifice time, sacrifice money even to make sure that everyone among us is taken care of properly. There are also 
uh, implications for this beyond our church family. We want to be the kind of church that in the heart of the high country that we realize that they, there are many people that are in vulnerable situations right now. We want to take care of the vulnerable. There are children who are food insecure in the midst of their not being school right now. Um, Appalachian State has allowed some students to come back. Uh, among them are uh, homeless students, student population, international students that don't have anywhere else to go. And so this is the time for the church to shine. This is the time for us to be and do church in a simple way. This is a time where our love simple bumper stickers really kick it into gear. It's not just about gathering together on a Sunday morning. It's about being the church. Because remember, church isn't canceled. We just aren't having large group gatherings. And so we're not having one this coming Sunday, the 22nd. And as we collect more information and advice, we're, our ministry leadership team and staff are in conversations about the implications for the weeks to come. And we haven't made any decisions on that quite yet, although we will be making those very soon. But regardless of any large group gatherings, church isn't canceled. Let's be the church. Engage your neighborhood. Rake yards for your neighbors that maybe there's some people among you that just have some need. Just do something. Maybe go door to door or text to door uh, and ask people if they have needs. What if we were the kind of church that gave to the high country? We encourage you, if you're part of Spiritual Formation Group, to continue to meet, continue to be a, a family of believers together continue to meet either in person or online. There are a lot of opportunities to, to continue in relationship online if social distancing is something that leads you to not want to be in a living room at this time. Instead of renting the high school and paying for that rental fee, on, on Sunday we rent to pay the high school. On Sundays we rent to pay the high school. We provide coffee. We pay for security. What if we allocated some of the funds that we normally give towards our Sunday gatherings and allocated some of that to meet the needs of the community? And that all sounds great, right? It, like, yeah, what if we took some of the money instead of renting the high school, we gave to people in need among our church family and beyond? What if it was people in our church that had uh, needs, we met those needs? And what if there were needs in, in the high country among the vulnerable, among those that don't have a place? that we, maybe the, their income level is totally taking a dive right now and we help pay their bills. And that all sounds great. And that sounds wonderful and we should do that. But it actually is only possible if the people of the heart continue to give. And so maybe you're in a place where you know that you can give financially. You can give online. You can give on our website. You can give if you've downloaded the app. And I would say, please give to the heart so the heart can give to the heart of the high country. Or maybe I could say, please give to the heart so the heart can give to the people of the heart and so the heart can give to the heart of the high country. Give, simple. Ask, simple. Love, simple. I'm going to post a teaching this coming Sunday about a passage in Deuteronomy that's about setting up altars of stone and I think it's perfectly relevant to our context today and then after that I think we're planning to shorten the extended teaching through Deuteronomy and head straight into an extended focus on the many 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 New Testament passages that include the phrase one another this is something we were already planning on doing. We were going to start on June 7th, but in light of all that's going on, it's so important for us to take a look at this, this example from earliest followers of Christ, of the, the commands and the advice and the encouragement to care for one another well. So there are many, many of those passages. So we're going to take a look at those over the coming weeks and months. But we need to stay connected with one another. We need to take care of one another. We need to encourage one another. We need to love one another. We need to support one another because church is not canceled. So my sisters and my brothers, let's be the church. 
Let's be and do church in a simple way. Please reach out and let us know any needs that you have. Please continue to give to support this ministry. We have staff that are employed, and even though that we don't have uh, rent to pay at the high school, we still have rent to pay at our office. And even though we don't have coffee to, to pay for on Sundays or security to hire on Sundays, we do, in fact, still have plenty of financial overhead, and we want to take some of the funds that are budgeted for uh, a Sunday morning gathering and really lean into this this opportunity we have to support people, to love people, to be there for people. Is there anyone in need? Let us know. Many of you are going to get phone calls and texts from us just checking in on you. We don't actually have everybody's contact information. There are people that are part of our church family that come on a regular basis that haven't told us their contact information, so we don't know how to get in touch with you. There are people who very much feel deeply connected with our church family that no longer live in Boone and don't come on Sundays. You might get a call from us because we do have your contact information. There might be some people who maybe you're not connected with the heart and we have your contact information. Boone's kind of a a transient town and there are people who come and there are people who go and there are people who at one point were very deeply connected with our church and they don't live in Boone and there's people who are still in Boone that don't necessarily feel connected to our church. And those are just details because we're really just supposed to be human beings that take care of one another. So if you would, if you're in need, if you want someone to talk to, if you have an emotional need, a spiritual need, a physical need, please go to theheart.us slash relational dash care or you can reach out to us on the app as well. And then if you feel like you really want to be on board with us really leaning into this and helping to meet the needs of the people both in this church family and beyond, if you would go to theheart.us slash give or you can give on the app. This really is a chance for us to be and do church in a simple way. It's time.